Hello everybody, it's Weasel. Uh, sorry, Weasel539, Angie here on YouTube. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video before my mum collects this tonight um, of what I actually did for this Christmas box. Um, I'm holding the camera because I won't be able to get in any closer for the detail. As you can see, it's an octagonal shape. Hexagonal, probably, actually. Six-sided. Um, <clears throat> what I did first of all was I painted it all over. Um, on the inside as well, the inside's just painted with two, pe two um, test pots from the hardware store. Um, one's called Stardust, which is like a really, really pale kind of pink colour, almost a not there sort of pink, and a dr dream, I think it was called, which was like a snowy blue. So I painted it all over let it dry and then I varnished it as you can see on the top it's really sparkly I varnished it with the crafters companion um, varnish that's got the um, glitter incorporated into it um, and I did that again all over unfortunately it was well it was silver glitter I haven't used that one for a while and on the sides a couple of the sides um, it came out all blobby and it looked awful so what I did was I then cut, um, I've got a book that I bought specially for, it should have been one ninety nine, but it was on sale at 99p and it's all to do with like silly facts and sayings and recipes and history of Christmas and I bought it with the sole intention of cutting up. So what I did is I cut eight panels, they're, they're all from this book so they're all Christmas related um, and I used... Um, it's like Mod Podge, well Mod Podge, but it's not. It's it's like um oh oh a similar glue. Anyway, I what I did was I cut the panels, I coloured them with antique linen distress ink, and then a little bit around the edges of um, fired brick, which is a really nice red colour for Christmas. Um, so and then stuck them on a couple of coats of the glue so they're there nice and stuck and that that actually looks really nice then i trimmed see the edges with some lace um and then bead trim on the top for the for the pick sort of thing in the middle i started off with three pieces of this greenery here um all these sort of things I've actually bought from my local hobby craft craft shop um, and I've sort of put them together so I started off with the three pieces of greenery and I, I bought these can you see the pine cones where my finger is and they're like frosted as if they've got snow on them um, and these the red berries the not the shiny one the shiny ones not the glittery ones and i kind of twisted them all together with a bit of florist wire and tape and kind of made like sort of like a little arrangement that was like basis um i'd also put cut with my die cut in machine can you see underneath there's three like fabric holly leaves i cut like those out as well put those under um then in the middle I then got a poinsettia flower. Um, I, I'm wondering if I can show you. Oh, I'd have to unplug for a minute. Let's just see if I can show you. In my craft room, on the windowsill, I've got some flowers. Can you see the poinsettias there? Those red flowers. Well, I bought those at the pound shop. Excuse all my messy crafty stuff look everywhere. Um, I bought those at the pound shop. And there's about eight flowers on. Let me just plug myself back in again. So eight flowers for a pound is whoop, is very good. Excuse me a minute. There we go. Sorry, hope it didn't make you dizzy. <laughs> so in the middle is the big poinsettia, and that came with those red berries. I then added one of my little dove flower uh, birds. And basically, I just took in after that. Um, there's three um, these acrylic snowflakes. Can you see there? That's the size. I don't know if it's picking it up too well. Um, which I've glittered. I've tucked in there 
a natural pine cone, frosted type. Um, and then I've put some of these big, I think I've just put four frosted berries. I made a little bit of a mistake with the with the um, stick pin. I did make a stick pin here, but at the time I hadn't added these and it doesn't really show up very well. I should have used a bigger pin, but it is a really nice stick pin. <laughs> Um, so I've just kind of tucked a few of the bits in. Um, my one of my favourite bits here is I cut this flower, and I inked it with the red, uh, the fired brick, and the pine needles um, distress ink. And the centre of the flower is a number twenty-five games piece. Um, I have those on my desk actually. Oop, they're the Mayor Road games piece numbers. Um, I got those from the craft show at the NEC. Then I've just stuck in one of these big glass bead things there. Um, and I put, I had a, a, once I'd gone around the edge with all the trim and down the sides here as well, I just had a little piece left. So I just sort of popped it in there as a decoration. And on all the pearls, I've run my stickles, um, iridescent glitter glue just along the edge. And as you can see, I've glittered all the greenery, um, all the edges of the flowers, um, a little bit more on the bird's tail. Ev everywhere I can, without overdoing it, I've glittered. <laughs> um, I also put some holly leaves, a few holly leaves in. So that's that's basically how I've done the box. thought you might like to see that. Sorry about making you dizzy earlier, showing my craft room. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the I say the inside's just plain. It's just It's just painted and glittered, so you can use it for whatever you like then. Thanks for watching. Bye!